You can't really do much about the family you're born into. You know, like, if your dad runs off before you can remember him and it rips your mum to bits and she spins out on a bender drinking and taking other stuff and forgets to leave the key under the brick or put food in the fridge or stop shouting at two in the morning on a school night. You can't do much about any of that. About your mum unravelling and that. Then one day a social worker comes and takes you away for your own safety. But you never said you didn't feel safe and you'd promised to take care of her and now you've let her down. And anyway, the social worker, they don't even know where they're going to take you. They just put you in the car and drive you away from your mum. With me, anyway. They thought, let's give her auntie a whirl. They roll up to her front door and explain the mess. She looks at me and I get the feeling that she don't know if she can do it. But thinks that if she says no now, if she says I can't fit her into my house, into my life and my other kids' lives, then the social worker will take me away for good. She won't see me again. She gets that idea anyway, and as well, I suppose she knows that right then and there, she's all I've really got. I'm still in my pyjamas and don't have a toothbrush or my school uniform, but she takes me in and wraps me up. The social worker goes, and now she's got a kid sat there in the kitchen and there's nothing she can do about it. I'm a lot to take on. I've got to admit, I wasn't the easiest. What with worrying that my mum doesn't love me, what with thinking about her and my dad all the time and getting that hole in my middle that won't go away unless I bounce off the walls and lash out and explode and tie myself up in hundreds of knots. And all the time tangling my auntie up too, pulling on her until she falls apart. All she can do is kick me out, but she can't because she loves me and that. She gives up her job, she gets a loan, she explains to her kids why she's on a short fuse, she watches other perfect families going on holiday, she does visits with my mum who doesn't always turn up, she washes my socks and she sorts out going to court and the legal orders, even though legal orders are pretty stressful seeing as if she makes a mistake on them, they would screw up my entire life forever in that. She's exhausted, she's done in, and there's nothing more she can do. Except one night, when everyone else was watching telly, we took out her phone and we started to look. And looking was doing something. Looking led to chatting, to getting support, to getting advice, to seeing and hearing that what she was doing, other people were doing too. That it was something to be proud of. That she was a kinship carer. And it helped her slowly put herself back together and roll herself back up and have the energy to keep loving someone like me. And that love, well, it's probably saved my life. And that's not nothing, is it? Like I said, you can't do much about the family you're born into, but I'm glad I was born into one that had my auntie in it. <laughs> <laughs>